Hi, it's Dr. Ronnie here. Now yesterday I posted about supplements for glaucoma and the science behind their use. And what I thought I would do today is um, in this video just to explain a little bit more about uh, what these supplements actually are, what they're, um, they're uh, supposedly doing for glaucoma, and uh, what some of the studies show. So let's first talk about the five supplements that actually have some scientific evidence behind them in terms of their use in glaucoma. Uh, it's very interesting that four out of these five supplements are actually plant-based compounds. So, um, so let's get started. So the first supplement I wanna talk about is called resveratrol. And resveratrol, you may have heard of it because it's a compound, it's a pigmented compound that is found in wine, but it's also found, it's found in um, dark uh, fruits basically. So for example, it's found in grapes, it's found in berries, particularly red berries, dark berries like blackberries or blueberries, bilberries. Um, it's also found in cherries. And peanuts, interestingly, have also have resveratrol. And what resveratrol is supposed to do, or what we think it does, is that it helps to modulate inflammation. And there have been some preliminary studies using resveratrol for glaucoma. And basically what they showed was that a resveratrol extract can help protect the optic nerve in glaucoma, specifically the retinal ganglion cells in glaucoma. Now again, the research is very still very early. There have not been any large uh, population-based studies done, but, uh, but some early research does show that resveratrol may be protective against optic nerve damage. Now the second um, uh, compound or plant-based compound I wanted to talk to you about is black currant. Now black currant is also a fruit. Um, it is uh, rich in, in uh, flavonoids, which are um, uh, plant-based uh, phytonutrients, and um, it's also pigmented. And there, it's available in different forms. You can actually uh, you, uh, take red, uh, sorry, black currant itself. You can have black currant juice, uh, oil, or even extract. So the extract has been studied in glaucoma in a small study, and what it was shown to do is um, it was able to lower intraocular pressure very slightly by 1.5 millimeters of mercury. So most of you, um, if you do take care of patients with glaucoma, you know that 1.5 um, points is really not that much, but there was some, you know, some benefit that was noted in terms of a pressure lowering effect. So, uh, so it is, again, one of those um, supplements that actually has a little bit of science behind it, meaning a prospective study. Uh, the next supplement I'm gonna to talk to you about is ginkgo biloba. And many of you are probably familiar with ginkgo. Um, it's a, an herb that, um, that is, you, has been used uh, for me, its medicinal qualities for many uh, millennia, many thousands of years, uh, primarily in Asia. Um, it's thought to have great um, uh, benefits for brain health and cognition, but it's also been researched in glaucoma. So um, a ginkgo uh, extract was used orally and it was found to actually um, help uh, prevent progression of visual field loss. Um, now, just one, one caveat about ginkgo, uh, the study showed that the benefit was best achieved when it was taken long term. And in this particular study, the average length of time it was taken was 12.3 years. So that's, a quite, that's really quite a long period of time uh, to be taking ginkgo before it may potentially be beneficial for glaucoma. Um, the next uh, supplement or compound I'm gonna be talking about is actually not a plant-based plant compound. It is called citicoline. And citicoline is actually, it's a precursor to phosphatidylcholine, which is a neurotransmitter in our brains. And it's believed to help brain function, uh, help with cognition. And so it, was, it has been researched in um, certain ophthalmic disorders, including glaucoma, as well as amblyopia, which is a form of lazy eye, as well as eye stroke called NAION. Um, in glaucoma, uh, oral citicoline has been shown to um, prevent uh, loss of retinal ganglion cells and prevent loss of visual function. So, um, so far as we know, there's really no effect on intraocular pressure, but, um, but some of the other metrics of glaucoma uh, were slowed when um, oral citicoline was taken uh, for some time. Now, the last um, supplement I'm gonna be talking about that has been actually proven to be of benefit 
is uh, Myrto Cyan. Now, many people are probably not familiar with what this is. So it is also a uh, phytonutrient. It's a flavonoid. It's a pigmented molecule. And, um, and what it, it comes from the bilberry plant, which is bilberry is a, um, it's a cousin to blueberry. And bilberry um, is, is more commonly uh, found in European countries versus uh, blueberries are more common in North America. But, um, but the, um, the pigment in bilberries has actually been uh, studied in a very, very small study, uh, I believe about 20 patients um, that was done a couple of years back. And uh, so these patients took this myrtocyan as a supplement and it was actually shown to reduce intraocular pressure by three points, so three millimeters of mercury. Um, so perhaps that may be a little bit more uh, beneficial in terms of long-term glaucoma management. Uh, all of these supplements, uh, as far as we know, are relatively safe. There are no significant side effects that we know of from these supplements. Um, so uh, if you're considering, if your patient's asking you for uh, other natural uh, therapies, you may want to consider adding some of these on to traditional glaucoma therapies. I do want to emphasize that, that these are add-ons. They're not substitutes. They're not replacements for traditional therapy. Therapy, but if someone is seeking uh, perhaps a complementary therapy, it's something that you can offer them. So, uh, so those are the five supplements that have the most science behind them. Uh, thank you so much for listening. In my next video, I'm going to be talking about a couple of other supplements that um, may also be beneficial in glaucoma, but have not actually yet been proven. So stay tuned for next time.